riding a bicycle and uh, I was hit by a tractor trailer truck. I was um, simply running an errand with my son, Jaden, and I was struck head on by um, an underage driver who was on a lethal amount of meth. I had a car accident uh, on my way to Girl Scout camp. I lost control of my car. I don't know why or what happened. And I flipped it five times. I went full blast into that one car that was stopped. I got T-boned on my side. And I was thrown to the other side of traffic. I threw my hands over my head, flew off my quad, 45 feet down. I was working in the backyard fixing some geraniums. I tripped on a two by four and I fell and I broke my neck. I was working with some hand tools and impaled myself with the screwdriver. And went to grab the hose bib to break my fall and it broke off and just went into my neck. Well, I fell over a cliff and there was rocks below it. I lost more than half my blood in the car. I severed the descending aorta in my heart. Both uh, broken feet, broken knee, broken back, broken pelvis, broken arm. It was excruciating. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. 40% like of the people that uh, suffered the brain injury that I suffered uh, died. The flight nurse, she was just an angel. The First responders made the decision that I needed to be air evac to a level one trauma center. So that was the beginning of many decisions to, that saved my life that day. Everybody thought I was gonna die. And uh, thanks to the people here and thanks to uh, the guys at Fire 30, I didn't. Thank you, John C. Lakin, so much. I say thank you every night. My son and I say thank you every night um, to everyone that was involved in helping us. Thank you very much for all the help and the care and, and for saving my life and, and putting me all back together. I would not be alive today. You saved my life. And I appreciate that.